Nita Leland is a graduate of Otterbein University and has taught classes and workshops in watercolor, collage, creativity, and color for more than 30 years. An author of several books and DVDs on creativity and color from Northlight Books and Artist Network TV, Nita is an active judge for art exhibits and currently conducts workshops throughout the United States and Canada. You can visit her online at nitaleland.com. In this video workshop, Nita shows you how to work with a variety of tools to manipulate and explore your art materials in new ways, discussing color characteristics, composition, and other concepts that will help you create a collage. A final start-to-finish mixed-media demo uses all of the techniques learned to put together a beautiful collage step-by-step. Another exciting paper that you can make is called crystalline paper because you can see through it. It's crystal clear. You also make this with tissue. But unlike the Brayer papers, we're going to use a brush and we're going to use gloss gel and coat both sides using a similar technique, painting from the center out. coating liberally. Now when it goes on it looks white. When it dries, it dries clear. After you finish brushing on the gloss gel, you have to be very patient. Let this dry completely. Put it aside until it's completely dry and then turn it over and brush it gloss gel on the other side. If you get in too much of a hurry, you might damage your paper because it does not want to be pulled up before it's completely dry. The freezer paper will keep it from sticking. Now, once that's dry, we'll take the sheet here that has been painted on, uh, has the gel on both sides, and we're going to paint it. So we're going to use a brush for this process as well and we're going to use a little bit of spray. You can also use watercolor. We're going to use the acrylic paint, but you can also use watercolors for this process. And you can put as many colors as you want on at a time, but you're going to remember to use brushes only, not the brayer. Remember, this is a completely coated sheet. We can spray it. Move the color around. This could be, remember, it could be watercolor as well. And once you get that on, then you also let it stand until it is completely dry. And when everything is dry, this is what you get. Wonderful crystalline papers. The beauty of this paper is that you can see through it. If you have it white underneath it, it makes the colors glow. These have a less strong color, but here we have one with a little bit of a gold reflection on it. And here are two other treatments of the crystalline papers with acrylic paints. These are great to use in your collages. And the thing that you can do with some of these things, when they're not too heavy, is to put your gel right on the surface. You don't have to have it the exact shape as long as it's in the general area. And then you just drop your new piece in onto the wet gel. And it will adhere nicely. I didn't quite get to the end of it, so I'll just lift that up and add some more. It's easier to do it this way with smaller pieces than it is to try to brush the gel on the piece. And then I always like to do the brayer to squeeze the air bubbles out and make sure that it's firmly attached. Now I have another piece here that I think is going to look nice on this area right through here. Let me check a minute and see if I would rather reverse that. 
and I think that I like it this way. So I'm going to repeat that process. This is acrylic semi-gloss soft gel. And I don't think I've mentioned since I started working something that's very important, and that is that when you are working with your acrylic mediums, you must be very sure that your brush doesn't dry out. So you can put your brush back into the medium or you can scrape medium out onto your palette and use it that way. And if you get a lot of excess medium, as long as you're working in acrylic and your acrylics are dry, you can lift up the excess if you don't want it to be lumpy.